Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start the show off today by talking about the American Cancer Society. Now, every day, the American Cancer Society, they take steps to help women reduce their risk of breast cancer or to detect it early while it's easiest to treat. In fact, today, one in two women go to the American Cancer Society who have been newly diagnosed with breast cancer for help and support. Now there's an urgency in the state of Florida to save lives from breast cancer because Florida ranks number two in new breast cancer cases. Behind every statistic though, there's a real person, someone who on a day like today, they had to sit across from a doctor and find out that they had breast cancer. That day marks the beginning of the journey for the fight for their life. Now to demonstrate just how personal the fight against breast cancer is, my first guest this morning is gonna share her personal story with us. Leslie, thank you so much for being on the show this morning. Thank you, Jenna, I appreciate being here. Well, it is a pleasure having you, Leslie, and let's just start by talking about in the year 1999, that was when your life changed. Yes, it was. In 1999, I was diagnosed with an aggressive form of breast cancer and I detected the cancer um, through doing a self-examination. Mm -hmm. And it does change your whole life. It um, puts you in a place where you're immediately dealing with doctors and having to make a lot of decisions in a very uh, quick manner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So your life was changed, but you went to the American Cancer Society a lot for help, didn't mm -hmm. you? Leslie? Yes, I did. I have to say that um, the American Cancer Society here in Key West helped me quite a lot. There are programs that the American Cancer Society offers to women that are going through breast cancer because not only are you trying to treat the, the disease and, and eliminate the cancer and, and medication, but you know, it is very personal mm -hmm. and you're trying to also to come to terms with um, your feelings as a woman um, with having breast cancer. So some of my experiences were very, very positive and I um, met a lot of friends and I had a lot of support, which is very important. Mm -hmm. The American Cancer Society uh, holds regular workshops called Look Good, Feel Better mm -hmm. for women uh, primarily. So when I was in the midst of having chemotherapy, yes, my hair fell out, my eyebrows fell out, and local women um, from salons here in Key West uh, put on this program. We went, they showed me how to use makeup correctly to draw on the eyebrows, offered me wigs, hats, and it makes a big difference with your confidence level when you go out in, mm -hmm. in public. Um, you know, you do want to look good, you don't want to look sick. Mm -hmm. And it made a very big difference uh, for me. So your support system was yeah. what got you through it, Leslie? Mm -hmm. It really was. And now how important is it for women to always get checked for breast cancer, Leslie? Well, I can't emphasize this enough. And when I was diagnosed, I was 39, mm -hmm. which is young. And more and more women today are being diagnosed at a younger age. I hope that's because women are doing the self-exams and also getting mammograms. We have to make sure that you're not thinking that you're um, not susceptible to it just because it doesn't run in your family. Every woman should do a self-exam. Mammograms are extremely important. And um, one of the other things American Cancer Society of Key West and the Lower Keys is doing is bringing programs out into the community so that women here can have their mammograms and be able to get their annual checkups. Because as you said earlier, if you can get it early, it makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. How long did you have breast cancer for, Leslie? Well, I really was going through treatment mm -hmm. for probably, including surgeries and medications and chemotherapy, probably for close to a year and a half. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of medication involved in addition to the chemotherapy that really changes. Um, it can change you uh, significantly and have long-term effects. So it was well over a year that I was uh, just dealing with that part of it. Mm -hmm. And how mm -hmm. are you feeling today, Leslie? Like, how do you feel just overall? Well, today I do feel great. Uh, it's been 13 
years. And one of the things that I tell friends, and, and I did have a great family support, my husband, um, it's really, really important that if you receive a devastating news like breast cancer, you can take a step back and maybe reevaluate some of the things in your life. Mm -hmm. um, it's a wake up call in many ways. Mm -hmm. And while it's not ever good news, for me, it really helped me to prioritize mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. things for my life and taking care of myself, not skipping lunch, uh, mm -hmm. some of those things that I would tend to do. Mm -hmm. I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. There was a purpose behind it. And right. now, if our viewers want to help survivors like Leslie, they can get involved with the American Cancer Society. They have a big event coming up in October. I know you're involved with this, aren't yes. you, Leslie? Yes, yes. Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. And just give our viewers a quick rundown on what Making Strides is. Okay. Making Strides Against Breast Cancer is going to be held October 13th here in the Keys. And it's a way for anybody to come out and show support and raise money for research because the research is really really important and the money raised also goes to programs here in the lower keys um, for example helping women get to treatment if they can't drive you know we have a very um, difficult geography many people need rides to, to, to treatment um, it brings programs out into the community for uh, early detection so the event is October 13th. It's put on your pink bra, mm -hmm. and I have my pink bra right it's here. Got her pink survivor right, bra. <laughs> right. And so what we're encouraging people to do is go uh, join a team, mm -hmm. form a team, or just sign up. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It starts at Higgs Beach, and we're having all the teams do a lot of fundraising, really fun parties, decorating pink bras. And on the morning of October 13th, you'll see everybody out actually wearing their pink bra. Pink bra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. And of course, for any more information on it, you can check out the websites that you see on the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much, Leslie, for sharing your story with our viewers. Thank you, Jenna. You're an inspiration, girl. Thank you. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.